Greetings in Christ, everyone. It is Saturday, April 13th, and we are back at the Holy Trinity Church site. And the iconography progress continues with Dr. George Cordes and his team. You can see here, with all this piping, one of the reasons why it has been such a blessing to be able to do the iconography even before the church opens, and that is to reach the arches and the ceilings and the dome, a lot of scaffolding has to be erected. The flooring in the church will be installed after this, and that will minimize damaging, cracking, scratching, and also, as you can see, it would be quite impossible to maintain any kind of a liturgical life in this church with scaffolding like this erected. The structure just simply would not support those multiple uses, and so we would effectively be closing the church at some point in time to put the iconography in. So therefore, you can see the scaffold structure supporting all of these functions. Now, as we step up here, you can see a whole new phase of the scaffolding. This was all just reconfigured yesterday and today. And Dr. Cordes is extremely happy for the opportunity to be able to now work the entire lower dome from one large scaffold platform. So as you can see here, there are rolling platforms to get to the top, and there are extensions to get out to the wings. And the iconographers are free to walk safely and easily through the entire upper dome, or lower dome, excuse me. So quite an amazing structure. Let's take a look at the actual iconography. We're now standing at the top of the apse, and you can see that Dr. Cordes is working on the icon called the Aion Mandilion, or the Holy Napkin bearing the image of the face of Christ, and he is heralded by angels on the left and on the right. And if I peek down, you can see that at the bottom of this arch is Archangel Gabriel. And as this icon is split in the middle by the Mandilion. It continues all the way down the other side with the Panagia, and you can see that that constitutes the icon of the Annunciation. Yorgo is working on the decorative elements in the arch, and Canelos is down working on the hands of the Panagia, stroke by stroke and brush by brush. And there she is, bearing Christ in her arms, the salvation of the world. And from this view, you can begin to see how it's possible that this amazing work is done in the amount of time it is, because just standing from one place, I see three different people working on three different icons, all as a part of a magnificently synchronized process.
And back here on the ground level, we have work continuing on the hierarchs. On the wall of the sanctuary, we have Yanni and Kronis putting the touches on the vestments. And on the hands. And the backgrounds have been placed for the icon of the extreme humility and Melchizedek, however. They're awaiting the faces and the details of the bodies, as well as the inscriptions.